When you buy a rental property, you have to get homeowner's insurance. But it isn't just a homeowner's policy. It's a landlord policy. It's the same but different. If you're paying attention to the news and the market, you'll notice prices have skyrocketed. And some companies are dropping out of the market entirely. Hi there, my name is Mindy Jensen, and I'm the host of the Bigger Pockets Money Podcast. Before we get started, I want to thank our sponsors steadily. Securing insurance for your rental property shouldn't be complicated and time consuming. Traditional insurance companies often demand long lead times and tedious paper forms. You need insurance that works like the modern tools you always rely on. Enter steadily.com your solution for fast and affordable landlord insurance. Say goodbye to the hassle of waiting and get next day coverage that only takes minutes to obtain, all from the convenience of your phone. Steadily was founded by landlords who know the unique needs of this industry. Whether you're managing single family properties, overseeing short-term rentals, or handling apartment buildings and beyond, Steadily.com can secure the best coverage at the best price for your real estate investments. Discover how Steadily can save you both time and money on your rental property insurance. Visit steadily.com for a commitment-free quote tailored to your needs today. Remember that little thing called the pandemic? It sparked another fun thing called inflation. The definition of inflation is a persistent, substantial rise in the general levels of prices related to an increase in the volume of money and resulting in the loss of the value of currency. Oh, remember when the government sent us all checks during the pandemic? Yeah, that was the increase in volume of money part. Now we're in the loss of value of currency and substantial rise in the general level of prices part. So what does this have to do with your insurance premiums? Everything. Why? Because everything costs more. It costs more to repair. It costs more to replace. But wait, there's more. We're also seeing extreme weather thanks to global warming, where we might have seen only a few tropical storms in the past that turn into hurricanes, now we're seeing far more tropical storms to begin with. They're popping up in places that they haven't popped up in the past. That's just the tip of the iceberg. See what I did there? We also have the law of supply and demand to contend with, both in actual products for your home, as well as insurance companies simply leaving areas and states. Fewer companies means less competition, which means prices rise because there's simply nobody else to offer coverage. According to a policy genius analysis of homeowners insurance premiums from May 2022 to May 2023, they increased 21% on average, and increases are expected again in 2024. Insurance companies are pulling out of these high-risk areas, something that shouldn't even be allowed in my opinion, but nobody asked me. You also have insurance companies going bankrupt, which is shocking because other insurance companies are reporting record profits. Great, nice for them. I have a friend who lives in Florida, and she just shared with me that her property insurance was potentially going to go up from $4,000 a year to $12,000 a year because last year her insurance company went out of business and her policy was taken over by another company that is required to insure everyone. They sent her an email that said, hey, good news, we found you a new company. And if you don't, opt into staying with us, your insurance will renew with this new company for $12,000 a year. You have one month to opt in to staying with us at $4,000. Now, if she had missed that email, that would have cost her $8,000. It doesn't seem fair or right that a company can shove her off to somebody else unless she chooses to opt in to stay with the company, and certainly not for $8,000. Another friend in California just sold her property because she literally could not find a company that could provide affordable insurance for her. Her insurance company sent her a letter saying they were ceasing to do business in the mountains of California because it was just too expensive. Uh, I'm sorry, isn't that your job, insurance companies? She ended up selling because literally the only company that was still offering coverage was not affordable. This very, very important item, homeowner's insurance or landlord policy, might not be at the forefront of an investor's mind when they're running their numbers. You think of the rent you can charge. You think of your debt service. If you're really good, you're thinking of CapEx and vacancy and planning for repairs. But homeowner's insurance has a way of slipping to the back of your mind, probably because you never use it until you really need it. In the case of my Florida friend, she would have been paying $1,000 a month just for insurance. And you can't simply skip insurance. Well, I mean, I guess you can, but that is a guarantee for a disaster. So what can you do? Be proactive and educate yourself. 
who is offering coverage in your area. Call up insurance companies and get quotes for coverage and requote every year. Your insurance company is not going to reward you for your loyalty. So don't reward them with yours when it comes to price increases. Shop around and don't be afraid to ask for discounts. Ask your insurance company, but some common discounts are bundling or multiple policy discounts. And even if you only own one property, you can still take advantage of this by insuring your car with your home or your primary residence and your rental property and your car. The more you insure with this company, the more you save. Also ask them what other types of insurance they offer. Perhaps they offer something that you need, making even bigger bundle, making even more savings. Insurance companies also offer claim-free discounts, meaning you pay less if you don't use it. Yay! Ditto for having safety devices like smoke and fire alarms, sprinkler systems, a higher class roofing shingle. Frankly, there's too many to list here, but ask your insurance company, what safety features get me more discounts? What discounts are offered? Your insurance company is going to be the one that will give you all of this information. So ask your insurance agent and don't be afraid to look cheap. You don't want to spend more money than you have to. Heck, some companies even offer discounts for being a senior. Now I'm looking forward to turning 55. And finally, consider increasing your insurance deductible. This is the amount that you pay before the insurance kicks in. But be careful because your lender might have something to say about what your deductible can be. This happened to me. My primary residence has a mortgage on it. And when I tried to increase my deductible, my lender said, nope, I don't like that. You're going to have to change it back. I did not like that, but I like having my mortgage. So I had to drop it down. Also, make sure you can cover it. I have a $10,000 deductible on my primary residence. Conveniently, that's the exact same cost it was for the new roof that I just had quoted. If I need a new roof, that's coming out of my pocket, 100%. But I also knew that when I set that as my deductible and I can cover it. One last tip, not all insurance companies are the same. So your price shouldn't be your only consideration. A no-name company will almost assuredly offer no-name customer service. Like I said earlier, price increases are predicted for 2024. Make sure to have a great landlord insurance company like Steadily to see you through all the ups and downs of the market. Be proactive with your investments and don't get caught off guard by a giant rate increase. Know who's offering coverage in your area, when your policy is due for renewal, and don't be shy for asking for discounts. Until next time, this is Mindy Jensen signing off.